Hello, happy Saturday, Sale Talk Saturday. Good morning, afternoon, evening, depending on where you're located on this beautiful Saturday. As you can see, we are currently sitting outside in a new location. We are on location here in Queen Creek, Arizona. Um, we've come to you from this location before, but today we decided to uh, be outside since it's pretty beautiful here in the Queen Creek. It is gorgeous. Hi, happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. We are down here in Queen Creek. Um, as you may remember, as you may know, we have several friends who uh, we've met on board the Carnival Panorama who live down here. And so uh, we are spending uh, the night here in Queen Creek. We're going to have all uh, homemade pizzas and <sighs> spicy guava margaritas Ooh. uh it's going to be a wonderful weekend and it looks like some homemade orange juice is being brewed up right now which is exciting and look who's joined us <gasps> hi hero we got hero his little tail's wagging down there you can't he see didn't, it he didn't want to miss out on that no of course not oh okay we've got a couple of good mornings okay. hey Dwayne, thanks for tuning in appreciate you stopping by for your saturday fix of sale talk saturday and Marcy, Hi, Marcy, we've got a countdown going. We are just 40, what is it, 44 days away from the Firenze when we get to meet you. I think uh, our countdown is a little bit earlier because we're on the 25th. Yeah, I think our countdown's a little earlier. Yes, it yes, is. yes. Ah, Brandy, one oh, week until she leaves for Brandon, Galveston. Brandon. Oh, Brandon, I'm sorry, not Brandy. I'm just... Woo! You're on Brandy. You're thinking about Brandy. I am. Yeah. I am. Where is Brandy? Brandy, are you out there? Brandon. Brandon. Galveston. Are you going on the Jubilee? That's or exciting. Or one of the many other ships that are now in Galveston. Galveston is yes. just... Galveston has exploded. Oh, Ooh. hi, Tom. Good oh, morning, afternoon to I got ahead of myself. I, I got ahead of okay. myself. I can see some of these things on the screen. It is a little bright out here. That's my only... <laughs> I was like, let's, let's go outside. Let's do this outside. And I was like... Well, I, and it's chilly. I mean, it's, it's only... It's not chilly. Oh, my goodness. It's 69 degrees outside. That's not bad. <laughs> I'm in, I love it. I'm in my hoodie. <laughs> I love it. Uh, good. You're going on the Carnival Jubilee, Brandon. That is really mm. exciting. Brandon, you are going to have so much fun. Yes. Um, I, I, I'm assuming it's your first time on Jubilee, but I probably shouldn't assume because, yeah. I mean, she's been out now for almost three, three months. months. Uh, faster to the fun is actually going to turn on, on Ju in Jubilee very Next soon. Sailing, not yeah, this very, one. very soon. Yeah, the, so, one that, the one that Brandon's going to yes. be on. So faster to the fun, which is you can buy into, you know, pre the, the early boarding yep. and some of the perks on board. Yep. Um, uh, so We've got a whole video coming we've out. We've got a video coming out. Actually, not no, right after this, no. but this week. This yeah, week. yeah, I would say Monday um, or Tuesday, maybe. So Faster the Fun is Carnival's way that you allows you to purchase all of the priority perks at Platinum and Diamonds again. Almost all of those perks. Almost. Um, and so it's uh, it doesn't roll out on new ships for the first 90 days. Right. Well, Jubilee, it's she's, hard to believe. She's 90 days old she's almost. She's turning 90 <laughs> days. <laughs> yes. Okay. Awesome. Uh, very cool. Blake. Hey, Blake. Yes, we are doing well. Same to you and Josh. Hope you both are doing fantastic on this beautiful Saturday. And have you booked your epic adventure yet? Have you oh. booked that uh, offer? Um, so right. they have all sorts of ships that they can choose from. Okay. Um, Rick and I haven't really chatted about that, no. but they have all sorts of... Legend is one of those ships. Oh, I love the legend. Um, spirit. Okay. There's several There's several spirit class can ships. Can they do the spirit in Alaska on July 2nd? I didn't see if that was an available date, but join Blake, us. Uh, take a look. Or the or the Liberty. Liberty. I don't know if the Liberty was on there or not. It's probably too far out. Usually okay. they do those deals no, like three no. months. No, Blake and I were talking about that. They, oh. they are offering those deal sailings way out. Casino offers are getting cool. even better. Yeah. Okay. Well, then you got our calendar, thiscruiselife.com slash about, and you can see everything we're going on and see if we can that meet up. So that would be awesome. Fun. That would be so much fun. All right. We got some more comments coming through. Waypoints Explorers. Happy Waypoint Saturday. Explorers. Happy Saturday. I feel like Waypoints Explorers lives in Arizona. I think they were on the last time that we did our call from this location, I, and they were like, Queen Creek is just down the road from us. I, I, I feel like they have been on a cruise recently. I, drop in recent cruises in the oh, chat because we'd love idea. to know what, uh, what folks have just been on. Yes. Uh, looks like Sandy C said, good afternoon. Finally off work for a sale talk Saturday. Thank you so much for joining us, Sandy. That's you exciting. You don't have to sneak at your desk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got your little AirPod in, <laughs> listening in one ear and answering calls on the other or whatever it is that you might do. Oh, oh that's funny. Brandon. 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 Yeah, not Brandy. Okay. Brandon. 
first time on an XL class ship, you're not going to be lost. It'll you, no. give it a day. First time on the Excel class. Remember we so the first time the we Mardi did Mardi Gras. Gras during her inaugural inaugural season, yeah. um, we said we need two weeks on this. We need a back to back on this because True. it is such a different ship. It's huge. But hopefully you've watched some helpful videos. Yes. Um, and that will uh, help make it a little bit more familiar for you. And you're going to eat well. You're going we'll to eat well. We'll tell you that. Yes, there's, there's no doubt. So much good food. I think the problem that we had with Mardi Gras is there weren't a lot of videos out for us to be able to watch at it's the true. time. It's true. It was so um, new. And, and COVID, was, it, was yeah. still, it was still at 40% capacity. And yeah. so there weren't a ton of... Uh, there weren't a ton of videos or tours. No. So I think um, the way that all of the media, the social medias and YouTube and everything have expanded, I think you'll find some help from those at the very least. Why, thank you. Aww. Our server just some brought dirty us. Dirty chives. Dirty chives. Thanks so um, much. Cheers. Cheers. Let's see. This is such a, oh gosh. Oh, that's good. That's really good. That's thank you, Jared. Delish. Thank, thank you. you. Okay. Oh, we need to catch up. We've yes. got more comments. On oh, I love it. Oh, they're dropping in. Hopefully, people are dropping they in. They are. Good. Yeah. Good, good, good. All right. So we've got Miss Miss Bree Brizzle. It's kind <laughs> of hard it. to read it the is. screen it with is. the sun behind us. Uh, happy Saturday to happy you, Miss Bree you Brizzle. Well. I love Thank it. Thank you for joining. Nurse Tara joined in and Hi, said nurse, hello hey, to Tara. Mark and Rocky. Hi, Nurse, hey, nurse, nurse Tara. Good to see you again. Uh, nurse Tara also said she Legend. came in at the right time. Yes, the legend is legendary. The legend is legendary. Blake, did you hear that? The legend is legendary. But you only want to go on the legend if we're going to be on it, Blake. Oh, no, I think it kidding. still think... was going to. Oh, this is really good. It is really good. OK. <laughs> uh, Nurse Tara also said, oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm jumping the, the gun here. We've got Waypoint Explorers. They are in the East Valley. They just got off of Icon a week ago today. Oh, how was the Icon? We want to hear more about this oh Icon my experience. Gosh, yes. Everyone, that's still the number one question. Still the number yep. one question we get. Are you guys going on Icon yet? No, we're not going on Icon yet, but we are going on 14 other ships. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> and that's not an exaggeration. I think that might be an understatement of how many ships. 14 we're... other ships for the price of Icon of the Seas. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Oh, I don't know how you guys did it. Waypoint Explorers, did you take out a second mortgage for that? <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Nurse Tara was on the legend in February. In awesome. February. Okay. Uh, so out of Baltimore, I want to say would be uh, the itineraries. Okay. I'm wondering if you did Bermuda or did you go down to the Caribbean? That would be cool to know. I'm telling you, this guy, I get on a ship and I'm like, where are we going? This guy's like, Nurse Tara, in February, you were out of Whoa. Baltimore. Did you go to Bermuda by chance? Like, how? I, I'm a travel agent. Oh, that's so true. That is, I kind of that, that is keep track of these ships, you know? <laughs> Uh, you are also going to be on the Celebrity Eclipse in May. Oh, that's an is that that's, that's an older, older that's ship, a Millennium right? class. I want to say because we're getting on the Celebrity Solstice. Solstice. Are they sisters? I don't think so. I think uh, I think Eclipse is a Millennium class, which okay. is slightly older than the Solstice. Okay, but but just one class. Yeah. Older, right. Yeah. Okay. okay. So actually, I want to check that because Eclipse and Solstice are both very very solar. So maybe the Eclipse is the same class. That would be really cool, yeah. uh, Nurse Tara. We are going to want the details. Yeah. For for sure. So we're going to be on the solstice doing um, Alaska with my family. It's going to be a lot of fun. End we're... of May or early June. Yep. End of May, early June. That's yep. right. Yeah. So that's exciting. Jojo said, hey, guys, had an awesome ABC cruise on the horizon in January. The <gasps> Venezia is next to Canada in September. So Wait, ABC Islands. Canada in September. Oh, we already have September. We already goal. have September. We do. Oh. So um, ABC Islands is a great itinerary. I'm assuming that would have been. Yep. That was the horizon, as you mentioned. Uh, such a great ship, such a great yeah. itinerary. We've done that before, and it's fantastic. Um, I really like, I really like the Horizon. One of one of the ship. options. Um, so the casino offers out there. One of the options is on the Panorama, okay, which is a sister to the yeah, Horizon. Yeah, I really like the Vista class of ships. We're yeah. actually working on booking the Carnival Vista. It's it will wrap up Rocky's uh, Vista class. So he's you've yep. done Horizon, you've done Panorama, yep. but you've not done Vista. Correct. And so this will wrap that up. Yep. And then we've got to get you on. Uh, we've got to get you on Jubilee because that'll wrap yes. up the Excel class. Until 2027. Yeah, well, we've got time. We've got time. <laughs> we've got time. Um, and then I still have yet to do any dream class or any fantasy class. Oh, so I still have two classes that get, I need to check out. You need to get on fantasy class yeah. sooner than later. I know. Yes, 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 yes. Um, but yeah, so we don't know how long fantasy class will be around, y'all. Right, right. And then JoJo, that's going to be awesome doing Canada. That's on my bucket list. I really want to check out the New England I would cruises too. and do those those fall colors. Too. 
When um, when is that one? Uh, well, she said it's in could, September. Know, September, could we make it? We're probably not. No. I doubt it because, no, because we've got we've got a busy August, and yeah. then we've got a couple of weeks, and then we do the Liberty, yeah. and then you do your Trans Pacific. Twenty five so. at night on board a cruise ship. I am so excited about that. Yeah. We'll be flying into Singapore a week early, so yeah. I mean it's it's a th it's a month. I'll be gone for a month. Yeah. Oh. Don't I haven't told this guy yet, so <laughs> I, I haven't told you yet. No. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see here. Brandon said that their last cruise was on the smaller ships, been on a bunch of smaller ships, um, and your card is gold now. That is awesome. Congratulations. Congratulations. That's you get amazing. a free drink. You're yes. gonna get a free drink anytime after 4 p.m., 5 p.m. on your last night of the ship. Yep. Any bar on the ship. Yep. Congrats. And then you also get the gift. You get a gift. Oh, don't forget to get your pin. You'll go to yep. Pixels Gallery to yep. get your pin. Yep. And oh, that free bottle of water. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. That okay. nice big jug, two yeah. liter, whatever it is. Yeah. Exciting. <laughs> uh, Miss Brie Brizzle said that you were on the Jubilee in February. Next up is the Firenze on the OG inaugural. Miss Brie Brizzle, we will see you there. That is on May 2nd. Uh, really excited to, to get on that ship. I know there's going to be a lot of people there. So. We're really excited. But I'd say the excitement is ramping up, y'all. Yes. She just. She actually should be in Tenerife in just a few hours. She should be in Tenerife in just yeah, a few hours. She set sail left. from Cadiz uh, on the 22nd local time in Spain, in, in Cadiz. Okay. Um, and she is hightailing it on down to Tenerife. And I'm curious to see what her route is going to be, being that she left a month early. This tells yes. me she's going to go around South America instead of going through the Panama Canal. Yeah. And we know a couple of folks that are on board. Um, yes. uh, we uh, we, d we don't have uh, permission or approval to share some of the things. Uh, nope. But I will say uh, we are in for some treats. Yes. We are in for some treats on board, Ferenze, um, uh, sister to Venezia. And yep. so you've seen Venezia. You've seen, uh, like, we put out a bunch of Venezia stuff. Um, there's a lot of similarity, um, but there's some... There's some newness, and I am super, super excited for uh, y'all to get to see the experience when we get on board Fat Anse. I'm excited to check out the new Venice class with Carnival. Yes. Oh. Oh, oh that's right. You've yeah. not been on. The Venezia. I always forget when Rocky doesn't join me on these things. I just He's just always there. <laughs> um, wow. So I just, just, I just always think that you're on board these ships. Yes, I'm excited. I'm excited. Well, I mean, I feel like I've been on a lot of them with you because I always get the videos, and I get to edit them. So I feel like I have a pretty good sense of direction on those ships. And it is kind of a Vista class, so there's still that That's familiarity, which that is, is nice. True. That's true. Brandon is currently playing Minecraft. Okay. Okay. That's fun. I'm multitasking. I, I know. Um, Brandon said that he could also build one of the ships. He was on Minecraft on the Olympic class ships built. That's really cool. Wow. So Olympic class is super old. That's Titanic. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, so that's really cool. I've heard that they've done some of those Minecraft build outs, which is really neat. There's oh, that's really neat. Kind of fun stuff there. I had there. no idea. We don't play Minecraft, I'm sorry. My nephew does. Well, he used to. I don't know if he still Where does. You, you coming Where over you to my lap? Hi. What you Hi. doing, Hero? Hi. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see here. Blake said that they have not booked the Ultra yet. Still doing the research of the dates offered. Just two of them are in 2024. Yeah. I agree with that emoji. That is surprising. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, you let us know which one in 2025 you're looking at. Maybe we'll join oh, you for that cruise. I mean, if they want us to. I mean, sh don't, don't, don't just invite yourself. Well, you're the one that's been talking to them. I'm sure you'll figure I, it out. I, uh, let's see here. Yes, Nurse Terra. 14 other ships equals one trip on the icon. <laughs> <laughs> that is so true. Uh, Nurse Terra also said definitely out of Baltimore, and they went to the Bahamas. Okay, that's cool. So okay. there was a little bit further south. Went and visited probably NASA. And uh, let me see what what else. NASA. When is our next time back to NASA? I want to. Uh, we'll actually be. Oh no, we won't. No. Okay, so there's a countdown on the screen. There, uh, yes. fifteen days. Literally, as we were driving to Queen Creek, I asked Rocky. I was like, "Where are we going <laughs> on the Maravilia?" Yes. I was like, "Can we just stay on the ship?" Are, uh, yeah, hopefully. we could. Hopefully these are ports that like I don't we don't have to get off in. And no, no. they're all really good ports. They are, yeah. Antigua, 
Uh, St. Martin. I've never been. He's never been to St. Martin, y'all. He's never been to yep. Maho Beach where nope. the where the airplanes go vroom, 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 over your head. That's yeah, the noise that's, they that's make. That's the noise they make that's right the, now. That's the uh, I'm aviation. Yeah. I'm an aviation. <laughs> I think I'm more of an aviation nerd so, yeah. than you. Yeah. Uh, and then we get to go to St. Thomas, which will be my second time there. Yep. I'm really excited for that. We did St. Thomas with Brandy, right? We did. That's right. So uh, Brandy, who uh, joins the Sail Talks often um, and is a huge supporter of the channel, uh, we actually did an excursion with her in St. Thomas. Well, she she got the behind the scenes excursion. We took her to Kmart. We did. We went to the Kmart in St. Thomas, and we walked around that store probably yeah. forty five minutes. We, um, I think it was longer it than was, that. It was. It is just. Uh, it's like uh, what? What are those things? It's a time you, capsule. Time capsule. Thank you. I was gonna. Yeah, you put the things you. in. Yep, you bury yep, it. I got it's, you. I got it you. was like a time capsule. Yep. Those old Kmart scanners. I oh mean, yeah. Just such a cool experience. They so had the blue light special. We probably won't go to Kmart. Well, we could we go could. to Kmart again this time, but yeah. we'll maybe not do record new. this time. We need to put okay. out that video soon. St. Thomas, Antigua, yep. St. Martin, St. Martin, San Juan. Oh. Y'all know that I'm a huge San Juan fan. Sun's out, rum's out, rum's out, sun's we out. We both Buc got our Bacardi shirts Bacardi. on today. Um, we just did Bacardi uh, with uh, Brian and Christopher, yep. Two Idiots, One Ship. Yep. We just did that with them on the... Valiant Lady. On the Valiant Lady. That was that <laughs> the was last the ship. cruise we were the on. The last cruise we were on. It's um, a long time ago now. Uh, it is. It's yeah. been weeks. Yeah. Uh, we had such a great time at Bacardi. If you yep. get a chance and you're in San Juan... Um, and even if you don't, even if you're not a big drinker, Bacardi yeah. is fun. Um, getting to see the facility, oh, learning yeah, how the rum beautiful. is made. Um, they've got various tours there. Love it. Yep. Uh, we are not sponsored. This is not an ad for Bacardi. I promise. I wouldn't mind um, that sponsorship. Uh, I wouldn't mind that sponsorship either. Gosh, <laughs> that would be a fun one. Yep. Okay, and sorry. then we're also going to Amber, or not Amber, we're going to Puerto Plata, Dominican Republic. So okay. Taino Bay. Okay. Yeah. Tain Taino Bay. Taino Bay. Okay. Sorry. Thank you all yes. for letting me walk down our next cruise. That's just in 15 days. We got an email from MSC this morning saying, hey, we'll see you in two weeks. We can't wait to have you on board. We're excited. Ooh. I'm excited. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Brandon said the Cunard line is one of the oldest cruise lines in the history. Yes, that is correct. That's really amazing. excited about that. That's amazing. Um, Nurse Tara said renewing vows next May on the Pride. <gasps> oh, that's a new ship that we wouldn't, we've never been on. It's not a new ship. Right, it's a new ship, new to, ship us. to us. Yes, <laughs> that's amazing. Nurse Tara, can you Nurse um, Tara. can you send us an email with those details? Um, Rocky at thiscruiselife.com, and we'll take a look at that itinerary and and uh, sail date and see if that's something we can squeeze into our itineraries for next year. That would be amazing. That would be really cool. That would be really cool. It's a ship we definitely want to get on. That would round out the spirit class for us. No prize. Yes. The Pride would. Oh, oh, this is the Pride. He, ne gotcha. he never remembers that the Pride is a spirit class. And then he always uh, thinks that Liberty is no, a spirit not class. Liberty. You think Valor. Oh, Valor. Yeah, yeah Valor is a, I get, I, yeah. Conquest and Spirit class. They're the same ship. No, they are not. They are so far from the same. <laughs> I mean, they're the same. They're the base same. No, they're not. Kind of. The spirit is such a different layout from the Conquest class. I mean, it's true. There are less interiors. There's less interiors and, and it's got the roof. atrium is in a weird spot. Uh, your main yeah, I like, guess it's a very okay. 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 <laughs> what other comments have come through? And and the, the glass atrium at the top where the steakhouse is is gorgeous on the spirit class from the that funnel. Glass funnel. Like, come on, there is no similarities between those two classes. <laughs> I'm a little passionate about this, can you tell? Okay, what they what are not other, similar stuff. What, what other comments are out there? <laughs> Uh, we got Waypoint Explorers report on the Icon of the Seas. They said it was amazing. They got a group rate deal. That okay. is awesome. Okay. That's so seven cruises. Up. Seven cruises. <laughs> <laughs> They're looking at the current rates. It might be a while before the sanity returns. Yeah, I believe it. I mean, if if the sanity returns, because um, I'll tell you, we have been tracking, uh, as we do, uh, we uh, have been tracking the sailings. We actually have a spreadsheet that that tracks the average moving rate of the various lines that we yep. sail. Yep. So now we don't include uh, Viking in that average <laughs> rate. We don't include some of the, we don't include Seaborne, some of those ultra, the river cruises. We the don't river cruises. Down. That would blow our budget qu quite significantly. Yeah. But we have a spreadsheet. We, we are tracking the moving average and that moving average just continues to go up, up, up. Um, and so uh, interestingly enough though, yeah. speaking of moving averages, here's a, here's a fun fact for you. So this is a cruise tip that I'm sharing live on camera. I wish I could put it up. Cruise I wish tip. live on camera. Um, we looked, we're looking at radiance for Hawaii, Carnival radiance for Hawaii. Yep. And just the price is 
wild. It's yeah. wild. So then I was like, I'm just going to pull up Princess just for grins and giggles. One of our friends, she loves doing Princess to Hawaii. So cruise tip for you, shop around. Yeah. Princess with the drinks package. Yeah, Princess Plus. With the gratuities. Oh, I just gave a thumbs up. With the drinks package, <laughs> with the gratuities, with Wi-Fi. Yeah. Princess Plus. All of the perks that come with Princess Plus, that same exact sailing, same exact time frame is $14 yeah. more per, per person. person than Carnival's Radiance. So without having Carnival, without having the Wi Fi, without having wifi. Cheers, yeah. without having all those perks. And so, literally, if we didn't want Princess Plus, if we just sailed the Why booking, we? it was like $1,600, $1,400 less yeah. than Carnival. Yeah. And so, that's my cruise tip to you is shop around right now because there are some awesome deals out there yeah but they're not necessarily on the low cost provider that no. carnival historically has been carnival's rates have been wild it's why you've seen us more on virgin it's why you're seeing us going on ncl on msc i mean carnival is no longer that low class <laughs> low, low cost, cost excuse carrier. me um it's no longer that low cost carrier out there and so yeah. just keep that in mind Sorry, yeah. I got off that track was a, a little, that was a little bit. Tangent, we that's comments. okay. It's okay. But it was a cruise ship that I it wanted was. people to be thinking about because yeah. a lot of times people are like, oh, let's look at Carnival because it's going to be the, yeah. the most cost-efficient uh, way. No, it's not the most cost-efficient way right now, especially if you're looking at Celebration Key, oh, yeah. their new private destination. Those cruises are going for... I mean, Michael Bailey... Not Michael Bailey. Um, Christine? Uh, oh, uh, oh, my gosh. Why are we both... Josh, Josh, Josh Weinstein, Weinstein has said... <laughs> CEO of Carnival Corp has said we will be able to charge a premium for Celebration Key itineraries. There is no doubt about it. And we're seeing and it. Are. We're seeing it. Yeah, yeah we're definitely okay. seeing it. Sorry. All right. Back, back to, to the, the comments. comments. <laughs> uh, let's see here. JoJo said Canada trip is 9, 7, and 9, 14, 25 nights. Sounds amazing. Oh, my gosh. We could actually do it. <laughs> Wait, what? 25 nights? There, she's talking about your panorama. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. But we could actually do the Venezia 9, 17, and 9, 14. Because 9, we don't. To 9, yeah, because then we get on to the Liberty on nine fifteen. <laughs> no, no, definitely not. Definitely not. Oh, <laughs> uh, we're nine, not doing seven. it. I, nine seven, right? You said nine seventeen to nine fourteen. Oh, I was sorry, like, nine, huh? seven. I'm so confused. Okay, okay. I was excited, Good. but that's going to be fun, Jojo. You're definitely going to get some. Uh... Oh, two idiots, one chip just texted. Hello, okay. two idiots, one chip. Oh. Okay, okay, keep going. Let's yeah. keep going. There's so many comments, and then we've got some stories. To I tell. know. Oh my gosh, we've got some stories to tell. Yes, we we've do. got some stories to tell. Miss Bree Brizzle said that, yay, she'll see us on board. Yes, you will, Miss Bree Brizzle. Definitely come find us um, on every Embark Day. We'll be wearing our TCL shirts. Yes, I do love to wear a guy's This Cruise Life shirt. Yep. yep. And we have laundry, so don't worry, they will be clean every time we wear them. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yep. Yes. Yep. And if you want to wear a This Cruise Life shirt, you can also do that too. You just jump on to thiscruiselife.com slash shop. That's right. Thiscruiselife.com slash shop. That's thiscruiselife.com slash shop. We need to actually look at our products on there because we've got a few more things that we need to add to our store, yeah. including junior youth sizes. What? I don't think we have any. Do we, we have to look? I don't know that there's a lot of junior youth that are watching the channel. Well, if my but family is going to be joining us maybe on the cruise, parents they may are watch. watching the channel. Mm -hmm. That's, That's a good right. point. That's, That's right. a good point. Yes, yeah, yes, we yes, need yes. to look at our products. Okay. okay, we have a couple more shirt designs that we'll be adding to the yes. store as well in the coming weeks. So stay tuned for that. We're we really just excited. added a, a buy two stickers, get one free. Oh, uh, yeah. The three pack oh, of and, stickers. And oh gosh, what? I can model oh. this beautiful. Oh, I have to cover up this, right? Oh yes, good call. Good call. We are not a sponsor. But we do have a new sticker that we put up, and that's this glitter style sticker which we're really excited about so check it out it's in the store we have our three pack bundle the now three pack, yeah you buy the two right essentially you buy the two regulars and you get the or you buy the stick the the buy, buy two get one free and buy, the i pack. love free That's, it's i free love free great too. i love free too uh let's see here uh marcy can't wait she's been shopping she's getting ready for her joining on the Firenze. i just bought a new shirt for the Firenze last night marcy so yes. we've got all sorts of newness uh, which I, will actually be making its debut in today's video today's video oh okay so if you stick around right after this live we're going to be premiering a new video um and you're gonna see my new marcy you are gonna get a preview <laughs> of what i'm going to be wearing on Firenze. <laughs> yes you oh all are. You, you all are. If you tune preview, in, which yes. we hope you will. Uh, all right. Nurse Tara said St. Martin is wonderful. We'll have a great time. Yes. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, we've He's already been planning out a bunch of things for us for the day. So I'm really excited for that cruise. Or and for that. Antigua as well. And, and Antigua. Yes. yes. 
Uh, I'm excited for that tasting. Marcy said, love seeing Hero. Oh, put Hero back up no. on the screen. This one's from Marcy. So good. You're such a good boy, except when there are people or other dogs. Or other around. dogs. Yes. Even Aww. Rocky sometimes. Even Aww, Rocky sometimes. He's pretty good for me most of the time. He's to he tolerates me. He just pushed me away so that he could get to Mark. You see that? He's definitely Mark's dog. <sighs> um, love seeing Hero. Yes. Graham said, hello, boys. Hello. Hello, less boys. Excuse me. I have a little French coming Le. out there. Le. Oh, was that how you I pronounce it? I don't think it? you say less. Oh, you're right. Le. I did not take French in high school. I took Spanish. Okay. That was not a Spanish term. Uh, Jojo said, so my gambling friend and I booked a $200 cruise eight day oh. next year. Magic Eastern Caribbean, but don't see any offers for this year. We just wanted to do a three to four night in November. Should we pay in full? Well, Jojo, send me an email, rocky at this cruise life .com. Oh, see what kind of deals you yeah, can find. Yeah, if you send me uh, your VIFP number as well as your friend's VIFP number for Carnival, I can pull up all of the offers that are available on both of your accounts, yeah. and I can see what we can do for you. Yeah, November, see. three to four night, I can definitely try to help you out. Yeah, 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 that, that's cool. I mean, and and yeah, while there's not a casino offer, would <laughs> I pay? I, I have. I've paid to go on the Magic. The Magic, I've been on Magic three times two times, three times. The magic is, so here's my only thing. The magic, I got appendicitis on. Yeah, not and so favorite. I don't want that. I don't <laughs> wish that on anyone on a cruise ship. That wasn't fun. Um, but magic is a beautiful ship. In fact, many people, many, many people say magic is their favorite of the dream class. Really? Yeah. It's, I mean, it's beautiful. Okay. The atrium is beautiful. Um, I really want to get on the breeze though, because that atrium looks really fun too. Yeah. Now and the it, magic is green, right? All yes, emerald. Oh, it's. I mean, it yeah. is gorgeous. Yeah. You will definitely want like an emerald dress or uh, like something like that. Yeah. Okay. Maybe some gold because that goes really nice with the emerald. That's true. That's true. Like, are you gonna follow road? the yellow brick road? <laughs> road? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's on the legend. That is on the legend. No, miracle. Miracle is yellow brick road. Oh, what is it on the legend? Legend is. It doesn't matter. Okay. They don't care. Nurse Tara is going to email me. I'll look forward to it, Nurse Tara. Awesome. I look forward to helping you out with that. Uh, let's see here. Sandy C, first time on the Vista this May for husband's 60th birthday. Oh, cool. His 50th Happy cruise to him. was canceled on by Carnival. Oh, well, in May, I don't think you'll have too many issues with the Vista yeah. in May. I think and she, she just got out of dry yeah, dock. She's so doing really good. She's going to be fresh. She's going to be new. And her engines are going to work wonderfully. Yes. It's going to be great. That's awesome. Happy early birthday. Yeah, happy early birthday, indeed. Uh, Waypoint Explorer said doing Princess in October. Amazing value with the Princess Plus premiere. Yeah, for sure. Yes. We're surprised by that. I mean, that Princess Plus, we were, we were shocked yeah. to find all of the amenities included for the same price yeah. as Carnival. Have you connected with your friend yet? We need to get that figured out. I have not. Yeah, no, we need no, to do that. I will have to text her. Yeah, uh, Mama K, if you are watching, uh, we are looking at Princess uh, to Hawaii. Hawaii. Let's book. We're looking at February. I don't. I don't remember. January, February twenty five. I thought it was March. March. I don't know. No. Not, okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Oh. Uh, Waypoint Explorer said that they love Princess. Oh, Hero's trying to come over. Come on over, bud. There you go. There you go. Oh, there, there he is. Go. Okay. There we go. See, I can prove to you. Hero likes me princess. too. So we've not, Princess is a new line to us, which yes. is why we're super excited to check it out. I also want to, I'm I'm trying to convince this one that we should check out Holland America next year because- I'm okay with it. Really? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Holland America, we, we get some questions about Holland America and we don't really have a lot of experience with them to be able to answer them. Mm -mm. I mean, other than we looked at pretty much every dam deck plan and i don't mean it as a, a damn euro dam holla dam holla backer i don't even know what I, they've got a lot of dam ships um rotterdam yes rotterdam Volendam, rotterdam dam new amsterdam you want me to keep going yes I, wow yeah i know so um i really do <laughs> want to check out one of their ships in person other than just the deck plan review. yeah no for sure that would be fun uh, and I think it'll be somewhat familiar because it's a Carnival Vista slash Spirit class ship. Oh, that's so cool. So we've already done a lot of um, information on the Luminosa, and the Luminosa is a Spirit Vista class ship. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Luminosa, we have to get on that. Okay. Yeah. That'll okay. Maybe that'll be uh, Alaska for next year. Carnival. Jojo said Carnival, haha, still low class, but definitely not low cost, except for three days. It was yeah. a Freudian slip, Joe. It, it was. was. a Freudian slip, low cost. No. <laughs> I know these things happen. <laughs> Holly said, joining in late back from Jubilee and loved your oh, tips. Oh, good. Oh, good, good, good. I'm so glad that they were helpful. That is literally why we started doing this because 
We love this cruise life of ours, and I am so glad that you had a good time on Jubilee. Oh, and I hope that you took some epic pictures because yeah. that ship is beautiful. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Super happy for you. Looks like my family tuned in. Hello, how long before the new shirt design? Oh. I think we've got our work cut out. I would Wait. say give it to, before we get on to Meraviglia should be a, a, a doable time frame. So new two shirt weeks. design or new size? Uh, both. Okay, both. both. Okay, okay. We're we're gonna we're gonna get back to work. Yeah. I still have to file my taxes though. So oh, yeah, I thought you to, finished no, that. No, oh. no. Me too. I'm almost done. Ah, <sighs> good times. There are yeah. two things that are in this life that are certain taxes and Mark and Rocky going on a cruise. Oh, that's a good life. Uh, yeah, I like that. I like that. I like mm -hmm. that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, looks like Brandon's last cruise was on the breeze. Exciting. Oh, so gosh. Galveston, you go to Galveston I a lot, wanna, Brandon. I want to go on the breeze. Let's look at that. We were. Okay. We, we, our schedule is just too full. I mean, it, nah, yeah. uh, Graham said, you guys have been on CFC. Mazda. CFC. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Can you tell us what CFC, CFC is? CFC, yes. Okay. I'm, I'm, we're not, we're not, we're not quite there. Uh, Holly said breeze in January. She'll get her red card. Yay. Hey, congratulations. Welcome Congrats. back. We'll see if you get a red card. Hmm. Oh, in January. So, That's a good call. So Carnival, uh, John Heald, Carnival's brand ambassador this week announced that they will be making their overhaul to the VIFP club by the end of this year. And so we don't know what, there's a lot of speculation out there. And you know us on this channel, we don't speculate. You know, we we ponder and we we, we tell you what we hope to see. Um, <laughs> but what what they have shared up to this, and, and, and I say the end of this year, I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not sure when we say the end of this year because originally it was going to be spring. Then it was by the end of summer. Now it's by the end of this year. And so we do know that Carnival is working on updates to overhaul the loyalty program. John Field yep. even said that it is sorely overdue yeah. uh, or something like that. Yeah. We, we know that it needs, needs a massive change. Yep. And so we don't know what that massive change looks like. And so maybe there will be new colors that are introduced. So maybe uh, you'll be getting a... Uh, pink card instead of a red card. I don't I don't know. You're right. You're I right. Don't know. So, anyway. It, it'll, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what what they what changes they implement, but uh we definitely agree that it's a, a change is necessary. I just actually posted a, a blog post <laughs> on the VIP program and the changes that are coming. So this yeah. is um I think it's the very first post or the second post yep. out there so you can read all about kind of the history of the program, kind of what grant... I learned some new details after reading Rocky it. Rocky <laughs> learned some new details about yeah. it. So whether or not they're going to grandfather folks, the last time they made a change in 2012, 2013, they gave people uh, almost over a year to reach that next level before they made changes to the program. So we're hoping that we'll see grandfathering um, because, and I'm hoping that they roll out Double Diamond. That'd be cool. I'm hoping they roll out Double Diamond because with my 25 night cruise, y'all, um, I am going to be really close. Oh. I will be one day away, five days away. And it's really close from 400 oh days on board a Carnival cruise ship. That so is wild. I'm close to Double Diamond, y'all. I'm hoping That's for free Wi-Fi. Wild. That will help the channel a lot. Yeah. Free Wi-Fi. That, that would be nice. Yes. That would be nice. Okay. Uh, let's see, Brandon. By the way, Titanic 2 is scheduled to enter service in June of 27. Yes. That That That's is interesting. I following uh, so i will say we have been following titanic 2 a little bit the good news y'all is it will it will adhere to all modern day <laughs> safety standards i just don't know um, how i feel about I it i know i know there's i know they say that the the creator says it pays homage and tribute to the original titanic that's why they're doing it um and i don't know if they can hear that dog i'm barking. sure they can okay okay what sorry else? uh Dwayne said graduating with their master's degree this year sorry about that um, would love if we could help him plan a transatlantic or Panama Canal cruise for his graduation. Oh my gift. gosh, that yes. would be an amazing. Dwayne, hit me gift. up. I would be happy to pull up some op options for you. Um, we'll go over all those details. By and Panama email. Canal is. I haven't done it. It is one of my all-time favorites. I, Barcelona to New York is probably still my favorite. I mean, that experience was so cool. But Panama Canal, touching the side, touching the the walls of the They're canal. You're not supposed to do that. I. Sorry. Okay. Never mind. Don't touch. Don't the walls touch the sidewalls. Don't touch the Panama Canal. <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, CFC is. You took French, not me. 
new French line who bought. Oh, oh. Okay, can you take a screenshot? Let's. Okay, we're gonna have to do a little bit more research on that because I don't recognize that one. Give me one moment, okay. please. That's fantastic. So, thank you, Graham, for sharing that. Can we share some of the things that that? We're, we're, yeah, I'm okay. just I'm trying to catch up with all of the, I know, the comments I love that are this. coming keep through. This is some, wonderful. No, keep dropping the comments in, but I figure let's let's okay, pepper yeah. in that. Jojo, couple of we'll the come back to you in just a moment. I see your uh, your comment there. Uh, coming into our first news article. It is Carnival Corporation Q1 earnings release. Oh, uh, hey, y'all. Carnival is going to tell us how they did in the first quarter this week, and we are so excited. Uh, what we are expecting to see is record bookings. I mean, we know that yes. that's happened. We expect to see record uh, pricing, which we know that that was what was going to happen. Um, and we hope to see some really great trajectory on the stock. Some of the analysts out there have, updated, have upgraded their stock estimates to $25 a share. I personally don't think it's going to get there. We already saw it go up to 17 yeah, yesterday. It was up to 17. And so uh, this will also, this should also give us a, a little bit of a preview into a little bit more of a preview into celebration key bookings, how those are going. It should give us a preview into the newest Excel class ship that they announced. Um, so there should be some additional news that we get out of that. And so I'm super, super excited about that. Richard is on point. Yes, translation. There won't be any bargains anytime soon. That is cor that is correct. Yep. Um, overall, uh, really excited to see uh, Carnival come back in a big way. We were worried there for a while, y'all. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. When a company takes out 36 billion dollars in debt, takes on 36 billion dollars in debt, that's, that's a little bit. It's not. It's not great. I mean, and we saw we saw some of the results of that. Look at the ex uh, look at the fantasy class of ships. They're right. all gone but two and yeah, so um yeah. we are hopeful um we are supportive of the brand kind of helping pay down some of that debt so that they can survive well into the future and we can choose fun for a long time to come right and speaking of the uh new earnings coming out they yeah. also released their shareholder benefit perks <sighs> information that's posted to our website if you go to this cruiselife.com it's yep. one of our recent blog posts Mark please take advantage of it, please. Yeah. If you have Carnival stock, if you have 100 shares of Carnival stock, please take advantage of that. Yeah, it's uh, they changed when it's extended through. Instead of it being the usual through February, it is actually through the end of 2024. Um, so make sure you do it. We don't know what's going to happen. I would love to see them somehow incorporate stock ownership into VIFP. Oh, that would be Wouldn't cool. that be cool as a very important fun person, uh, their their loyalty club? If you also own stock, like that gets built in somehow, yeah. where it just automatically gets applied, oh, like gosh, something along. Yeah, be but cool. if you sell your shares, they I have know, to keep I track know, of that. So I, I, I don't know. Well, the new process, which that article is going to be coming out this coming week, okay. there's a new process for how you claim your shareholder benefit on Carmel. They automatically know if you sell your stock now. Oh, because they you have, didn't have to submit your your details. No, they have That's access amazing. to my brokerage. Is it? Uh, well, is it amazing? It's creepy, but because it's Because not only do they have access to my Carnival shares, yeah. Carnival, uh, the stock perks, the third party that they use, knows my entire portfolio. Oh, yeah, they know scary. my, like, and so there are, there's a comment actually on the article that I just posted of, yeah. I'm not doing that. I'm not giving them access to my entire portfolio. This week's article, I'm going to give a tip on t in terms of how you can avoid them getting that oh, visibility. Oh, that's great. Yeah. I didn't know this, uh, what Richard just shared. Really? That's interesting because I've sailed solo and they have honored it. So, uh, Richard, I if there was a time frame. No, well, curious if it was a casino rate or if yeah. it was a deeply discounted or if it was a travel agent rate or something along those lines because those they will not honor. Um, those I will say I have had it accidentally denied before where I've had to resubmit. What was that? No, you're fine. Go ahead. Where I've had to resubmit it. Um, and so uh, that could have also been, so I have seen that where, um, they've accidentally, they've said, oh no, that doesn't apply. But if it is on a travel agent, right, if it's on a casino yeah. offer, if it's on one of those things that, that is also, they no. will deny it. But for solos, they shouldn't deny it. In that situation, does stock, stock perks have a, a number that you can call or is there a you customer still, service line that you can reach you, out to? You wouldn't even reach out to, I wouldn't reach out to stock, stock perks. perks. I would reach out to guest admin. I would reach out to shareholder at okay. Oh yeah, there um, you go. If there is, I mean, you can reach out to stock perks. I'm, you, I might reach out to both yeah. if there is a concern or you can always, uh, if you have a, if you book through a travel agent, you can yeah. actually have your travel agent give guest admin a call yep. because they, and then that way you don't have to do any of that work you yep. just put it on the travel agent yep that's yep. what i would do i know that's what you would do <laughs> <laughs> all right let's move on to the next article and that is carnival firenze is on the move we already talked about this a little bit earlier yeah. uh, carnival firenze has left the the dry docks in cadiz spain 
and she is at full speed heading to Tenerife right now. I'm really excited about that. So she is going to be docking there, probably getting some more crew on board, getting some provisions before she heads across the Atlantic. My guess is from there, she'll probably head to Brazil. And that would be my guess. That's a no logical crossing. And then she's going to be making her way around South America is what we are projecting based on how soon or how early she's setting sail. That's awesome. So we're excited to hop on her actual real inaugural on April 25th. That it's just is right around the corner. A yeah. month and two days away That's from today. Wild. That is so wild. It's wild. And it's wild that we're on an 11-day voyage before then. Actually, it's um, 12 day. It's 11 night. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I am going to, we are going to be top level MSC status before you know it. It's, it's going to, it's just going to happen. Yeah. Cause we um, already have another MSC cruise booked in 25. Correct. Oh, the another inaugural. inaugural. Yep. So uh, inaugurals are my new favorite thing. Um, they're my new favorite. We'll see how it is with a different line. We've got a first different line this uh, June on the Islander. So. Oh, speaking of the Islander. Oh my gosh. Have you all seen the renderings? If you've been following us on Twitter, if you've been following on YouTube. Yep. That we are, uh, I'm obsessed. It's my new obsession. They are literally building the website. We click refresh and there's something new on the website. In fact, sometimes they're just placeholders. Yeah. They just have, they're <laughs> just building out the framework of the website and they're just placeholders. The new ship Islander looks absolutely amazing. She looks In fact, beautiful. We're even looking at one of the seven days. It'll yes. be the first time ever that Margarita Villa at Sea offers a seven day itinerary. We're looking at some of those. The price points nine eighty nine with Total. taxes with taxes port fees nine eighty nine for two people yeah. uh, on a seven night now that's great as long as they don't have bugs in the linen as long as the bet as long as the rooms are clean um, <sighs> if you watch the paradise video go watch the uh, margarita LC paradise video we we did not have a great experience there. Um, but Islander looks, looks great. It looks like it's a game changer for Margarita. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I'm super excited for the brand and I'm super excited to see how it comes out. Oh. It turns out. Yeah. What other comments? Did we get more comments? We've, it we've gotten like, quite a let's, few. Let's jump back to the comments <laughs> and then, and then we'll, I, I'm telling you, I'm jittery from, from the espresso in this. I'm like, let's go next one. Okay, here we go. <laughs> These dogs, I think they're barking at us actually. Hi. Hi, join the channel. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe. Let me let me catch up here. Oh my gosh. Jojo said that you are going to email me. Um, done a couple of princess a couple times, 10 to 14 years okay. ago, and it was beautiful and um, had a great time, but prices went up. So she moved over to Carnival till Platinum, but now may switch back. Yeah. Depending on how far you yeah. are away from Diamond, it might make sense to stick with Carnival, especially knowing that they're going to be updating all of their programs um you know we'll kind of take a look at that and see taking behind the scenes i know i see that okay and see what makes the most sense for you but we'll definitely try to help you out there john tober you're just getting home from work getting excited for the apex soon oh the apex john if you haven't checked it out already we've got a couple of really fun videos on our channel for the celebrity apex love love loved that ship um, yeah. Great food. If you have some onboard credit, you can make your way to Eden. We highly recommend Eden. Michelin stars what they're going for in that restaurant, and it shows. Mm. Absolutely loved it. Uh, it was, um, it was a, honestly the best meal I've had on a cruise ship. Yeah, um, and we've great. been on we've been on over a hundred cruises betwixt yeah. the two of us. Yeah. Uh, Eden was the best uh, mm. meal that I've had on a ship. I loved it so yeah. much. Yeah. Oh, and then gosh. you're heading out on Sun Princess later this year. We actually know someone that's currently on the Sun, Pr Sun Princess right now. Um, Dr. J, if you're watching, I'm sure it's probably nighttime and you're sleeping. So you're probably not tuning in live, but uh, Dr. J, we're we're excited. He's been sending us several photos about about this journey, and it's been really cool to check that out. Can you bring up Blake's comment, please? I'm getting can to you it. it. Can you just bring it up because it just totally tickles me. Oh, totally tickles me. We have a lot of Richard. You're sending a lot. What if one of the ships on Margaritaville was a pest control or shops on Mar was a pest control company? <laughs> they just sell Raid. They just sell Raid on board. <laughs> At Raid and Clorox wipes and <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> Sorry, I just thank you for letting me yes. jump into that. Yes. Uh, and then let's see here. So Sun Princess later this year. I wish I had 14 cruises booked on the calendar. Uh, very jealous. Yeah, it's it's a lot. I don't know. 14 is a lot to keep track I, of. I will say uh, if mom and dad are still on, um, uh, ha, we are going to reduce that number for 2025 because it is this year we'll have, I think we'll, we'll end the year with 20 cruises 
Um, and while it sounds magical, oh. um, it's uh, there's a lot of airfare and logistics, yeah. and there's just a lot that goes into it. And again, I'm not complaining, y'all. I am very we're very blessed yeah. that we have this cruise life of ours. Yeah. Um, but but next year we're gonna look at kind of the booking schedule. We're gonna so. be a bit more strategic in our booking. Yeah. Yes, we hear you, dogs. They Subscribe hear us. to the channel. And they hear us. That's why they're barking. Rocky they're was outside. like, "Let's do outside." Hopefully, oh. you don't hear too much barking. Uh, Graham said that he's going to send us the details for okay. that new awesome. um, cruise line. Um, Richard almost missed us. Stupid work. I know. Got to make that money somehow. Isn't that fun? Uh, yeah. Let's see what, here. How are we going to do that? Oh, I don't sorry. Know. It's okay. Brandon said that Titanic 2 is going to enter service after he graduates from high school. Hey, that's fantastic. Congratulations. Yes. And I think I saw a little later comment. Maybe he can work on there. That would be cool. There it is. So you might be lucky if he gets to work on Titanic too. That would be really that would be cool. really cool. Uh, let's see here. The bylaws say that they're supposed to only be doing double for double bookings and full full price, no discount. So if you read through their fine print, they don't list that specifically on the website. I mean, there may be other okay. there may be other places, uh, but like because last year, well, interesting, they did not put shareholder benefit in this year's annual report, and so. Uh, uh, they ju that's why we didn't know what was mm -hmm. what was happening. So it must not have been ready. At, it's just on their website now. Yeah, yeah. That dog is. I know. Maybe we need to be quieter as we talk. I don't know. Uh, let's no, see here. Think... Don't forget, this is the time of year to get your profit loss statement for taxes. Yes, yep. this is true. Yep. Sadly, I've got more losses than profit we this year. We won't talk about that. But uh, that's a deduction uh, that, that I'll be able to carry forward for years to come. Right. And then Richard also said Carnival Firenze, home of the new of the Statue of David. Yes, that's the Statue right. of David that came from the Carnival week. Pride. Yes, that was news this week. Um, and I, what I didn't realize, I thought that statue always had the leaf. One of our followers yeah. shared with me that no, that they added the leaf. Uh, folks got there were some sensitive folks, and so they which, added the leaf. Which is interesting because on the miracle, they don't have leaves on the Cupid statues as you enter the Bacchus dining room. Remember that? Don't the leaves wrap all around them? I thought the leaves strategically wrap around them. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, fantastic. They, I don't believe they do from my recollection anyway. Um, but so many inaugurals wind up getting bombed. It's, it's the true. reason. Yes. No, that is very true. It's we true. always, we always book them with caution and we always understand that there's a possibility yep. things are getting changed. Carnival Firenze worked for the better and moved forward and we were able yep. to book ourselves on that one. And we always warn folks. We always, yep. uh, if, if someone's considering booking an inaugural, in fact, it, that's a that's a great reminder. Thank you so much, Richard. Uh, you know, we talk about inaugurals a lot on this channel, but it is a great reminder that what? I'm, I just saw Blake's comment. Oh, okay. We'll get to it in a moment. Okay, it is a great reminder that um, Oftentimes, inaugurals can bump. Yes. I mean, look at look at right. Um, Sun Princess got book, bumped oh, a whole fourteen gosh. nights. Oh gosh, a whole Poor cruise. Sun Princess, several cruises. Was it several? several? I thought cruises. it was a fourteen. Several day cruise. cruises. Okay. There was a seven and then a fourteen day. Oh, okay. um, Jubilee, Carnival Jubilee. Yeah. I wasn't even supposed to be on Carnival Jubilee, right. but because they canceled six sailings, um, I was able to get on that ship. And right. so, yeah, yeah, it's unfortunate, but it happens. Richard said that our Paradise video for Margaritaville at Sea freaked him out. Freaked yeah. me out too. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. The 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 pulling back the bedding and having to wipe stuff out from underneath the sheets that was a freaky experience. Mm -hmm. Again, your parents were mad at us that we didn't right away go to guest services. We we should have. I think we've we got some have. learnings from our most recent cruises. We're we gonna do. be talking to guest services a little bit we, more. We, I, I hate saying that, um, but we have we have that capability. Okay. Yeah. Um, let me see here. I mean, and guest yes. services is amazing. Yeah, they are. They're awesome. Guest services is absolutely amazing. Yeah. We we met uh, Emerson at, not Emerson, Emerson is Foursquare, but yeah. who did we meet on board? Fatima. Fatima on board. I can't think of the ship. That was what I was Celebration? Start. Celebration. Thank you. <laughs> um, Fatima from Celebration uh, was absolutely amazing. Yeah. Guest services. Oh, and, gosh. And the way we always approach it whenever we interact with guest services is we always come down with a smile. We're always super friendly because we know what guest services has to put up with over the course of a cruise. And so, you know, kindness goes a long way, especially when you're dealing with these types of situations, you know, they're understanding, especially if you explain the situation and, you know, your patient with them is going to be really important. Kindness goes a long way in life. It does. That is my cruise tip and my life tip for today. Yes. Ooh, that What's is, that? that is, betwixt is a 25 cent word. Betwixt? You I do, did. You said I that. Betwixt, betwixt. Betwixt the two of us. I'll use it uh, two more times so I can say thrice. <laughs> Richard, Titanic 2 will never, ever happen. 
it's happening. It's happening. It's, it, we'll it's see. It's going to be interesting. Hopefully the movie never happens. Good point. <laughs> Hopefully the Titanic 2, the movie, Celine Dion will not be singing uh, any more songs for that. I don't think Celine Dion is putting hey, out much new music either, she, unfortunately. I'm sad yes, about that. We love you, Celine. Yes, if you're do. watching, my heart will go on. Drop a DM. Uh, fun fact. <laughs> Blake has never seen Titanic. He doesn't want any spoilers. Oh, <laughs> that's what I was laughing about earlier. Um, I'm going to give you one spoiler. The ship sinks. <laughs> okay, Rocky, let's move on to the next comment. Oh, Sorry. my gosh. Uh, uh, Blake, your see. heart will go on. Your heart will go on. <laughs> Richard said they added a detachable leaf and it kept getting removed. Then they had to make one of clay that is attached. No way! They had a detachable leap on the Statue of David? Of why? course it kept getting removed. Yes, yeah, why? That is so <laughs> weird. That's amazing. Oh, it looks like Brandon is now branching out. He's not just playing um, wow. Minecraft. He's also playing Grand wow. Theft Auto V I, on his PlayStation 4. There is so much going on. So much know, multitasking. How you do it. Uh, let's see here. Richard said, it ain't happening. It's been announced, what, four times so far? So that is true. So yeah. that is true. They've announced it, and they yeah. didn't get the funding. They announced it again. They had partial funding, and it went away. Then then COVID. Like I'm curious to see um, what shipyard is building it uh, to see if they have any webcams. Some of the shipyards Ooh. actually have webcams That'll where you can fun. tune in and see. So we I'm will we'll, we'll take a look. Um, is there a dedication for Firenze on the 24th? Yes, there is a dedication. Um, uh, John Heald actually announced on his Thursday call that he would be there, and it is on the 24th. We have not received any official invitations. We've got a couple of friends that work for Carnival Cruise yeah. and we might be trying to reach out and see if we can secure a spot. Um, but at this point, we are not on the invite We're list. We're not on the invite list yet. Y'all, you know what would help us get on the invite list? Telling more people to subscribe tell, to our channel. Yes, 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 yes. Please tell friends, family, cousins, you know, that nephew that you haven't seen in a couple of years, send them a note and be like, hey, we've got this great YouTube channel to subscribe to. Um, in all in all seriousness, our goal, um, our, our goal is to get to that number where Carnival says, hey, we'd love for you to come for a, a naming ceremony. Yeah. That would be amazing. Be really cool. But yeah, it is on the 24th of yep. April. We for sure will be there for the ribbon cutting on the 25th, yep. which I'm super excited yep. about. Um, we plan to get in early so that we can be there for that. Yep, yep. Uh, let's see here. Brandon said, spoiler, the ship sinks. Yeah, yeah. So I'm I not think, the only one. I think one. everyone is sharing my, my that spoiler. My parents said, yep, because it sinks. And then Blake is mad at me. Why would you spoil such a pivotal point in the plot? Oh, that Celine Dion is there? Yes. Yeah, sorry, oh. sorry, sorry, right. sorry. Um, Clive, Clive Pamber will do it no matter what. Oh, the billionaire, the billionaire investor who is oh, building Titanic. Yep. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> See, I, I'm glad yeah, that I'm glad that we're... You've got some of the news. We Supposedly are... being built at... Oh, in China. Interesting. Interesting choice. Interesting okay. choice. Uh, are you doing any of the... Any of the... What? What? I'm not sure. Invited platinum and diamonds and we went specialty dining on the Firenze. Are you doing the Marcy? It looks like there might be a typo in there. Um, I'm not quite sure what the question is. Are we doing any specialty dining? Is there specialty dining on Ferenc? There sure is. Oh, tell us about that, Rocky. We've got Bonsai Sushi, Bonsai Teppanyaki, uh, Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse, and Il Viaggio. And no. Il Viaggio. Oh, sorry. I didn't love Il Viaggio, y'all. I mean, you check? saw the video. You, I'm sure there's a seafood check. There's always a seafood right. check. Um, I didn't love Il Viaggio. Yeah. Um, it was it was okay. I'm glad I did it. I'm so glad I did it. Uh, there's a whole video about it. We walk through all of the all of the courses. We walk through the restaurant. We do a tour. We give our final thoughts. Um, it wasn't my favorite. I don't no. know that we will do Il Viaggio. We just did Bonsai Sushi on Celebration yes. for Valentine's Day. We did. That was our Valentine's Day. Um, uh, shout out to uh, our friend Angela, who uh, treated us to a Valentine's Day meal. That was, that was so, so, cool. so sweet. That was the, if you um, weren't there uh, last week or two weeks ago, um, uh, she somehow worked with Carnival and uh, left a gift card in our stateroom uh, and we had a Valentine's Day meal so on, cool. on Angela, which was super very, very, very sweet. Gen yeah. X Cruising. Yeah. If you follow Gen X Cruising, go out on there. Um, super, super kind of her. Yeah, that was that was really awesome. And the sushi was really awesome. That was also, yes. 
Uh, Brandon said that they would love to work on the Titanic 2 if it works. Yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> hey, Miss Aretha, you hey, have a cruise Aretha. coming up. You're set in sail on the Carnival of Venezia here soon. Yeah, you, in about a week or so, I believe. That's exciting. Uh, Richard said cosine on Il Viaggio. Yeah, yeah, right? cosine. Um, there we go. The, the stroke is creeping in the stoke. Uh, we went on Radiance naming. They invited oh. Platinum and Diamonds. That's that would cool. be really nice. That you know, be. that would be a, I would take that perk as a double diamond carnival. If you're yeah. watching yeah. and you're thinking about VIFP uh, options, yeah. wouldn't that be cool that if they offer double awesome. diamonds to special events like naming ceremonies? That would be super awesome. That would be cool. Or even triple, I'll get, okay, triple diamonds. It gives us something to work toward. Right. I love it. Miss Aretha set sail on the 5th of April, just two days before us. This guy, I'm telling you, you've got so, a mind like a trap. Uh, sometimes. Uh, so I, I hope we don't have a similar situation that we had when we sailed on the Meravelia last time and the Venezia set sail the same day as us. Um, remember the the Venezia, we caught up to her and she was doing a medivac oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. ship yeah. because it was... Not gonna I know. Why does it say Margaritaville at sea? Because that's the last thing we <laughs> talked about. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to move us forward because we're yes. almost an hour in. Oh already. my gosh. I, oh my it's gosh. Wild. This has been so much fun. There's been, uh, I love how much interaction and this how many great. comments have been done there. Thank you so much for jumping in and telling us about your next cruises and what you're looking forward to. Yeah. Princess. I love all the comments about Princess. Yeah. I'm, I'm, we're we're going to book it. We're going to book it. We're going to book it. Yep. Do you think mom and dad want to go to Hawaii? Do Maybe? they like Hawaii? Uh, that's too many sea days. I don't think mom could handle it. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we just put out a new video review onto our uh, channel, and that was on the Mark's full experience on the Norwegian Encore. Now, I know that he set sail in October, and it was the final sailing of Alaska. October, November. I mean, technically, it was... It was technically right, October, yeah, technically, yes. Technically still October. <laughs> yes. Late, late October. Yep. Um, so we finally got that that review up. Actually, as the Alaska season is restarting, we wanted to put that, that for recency and, and get that out there. Um, so go check it out. There's a lot of really good detail from his Norwegian experience on on that video, which we were, is really cool. We were going to post it uh, at the end of the year last year, and then we thought, well, there are no real, there are no cruises going to Alaska, and so let's wait until let's let's celebrate the kickoff the yeah. Alaska cruise season and post it um, now. And so um, it it walks through the ship in great detail, the food, the drinks, the entertainment. Um, and it even talks about some of the ports that are there in Alaska. So if you're going to be going to Alaska um, or if you're going to be on a Norwegian ship, uh, check that full review out. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, by the way, as well, for checking it out. Thank you. Uh, Venezia tip from Richard. When you board, go to the Carnivale Bar. Fantastic staff. And you have it almost to yourself that first day. Everyone flocks to the atrium bar. That is a great tip. Mm -hmm. The Carnivale Bar is at the very aft of the ship on deck five mm -hmm. uh, in the normal Havana space on the other Vista class ships. Yep. Believe it or not, uh, I love that cruise tip. We should we should talk more about cruise tips on the channel. We should. We I mean we, we do. do. We should talk. <laughs> we do quite a we bit. We avoid. We pretty much avoid the atrium on oh, embark yeah. um, because on embarkation that area is just jam packed. And so I love that tip, Richard. Head on back to one of the other bars. I would say even Amari's going to be busy because that's pretty close. Yeah. 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 Um, John Tober, great question. What are our thoughts on hosting group cruises? So. We are actually working on our 2025 plans. Yep. We yep. want to take a group cruise to Celebration Key. Um, there is a potential that we'll get ourselves on the very first itinerary that stops there. Um, and that would, again, round out my experience on the Vista class by set, set, setting sail on the Carnival Vista. Um, the sailing, I want to say, st starts on July 17th. It's an eight-night itinerary. goes to Aruba, Curacao, and Celebration Key. We're looking at it. It's a possibility. Stay tuned to the channel. Yeah. Um, we're definitely going to be posting to our website. We'll definitely notify everyone through our YouTube channel as well, uh, as well as our other social media platforms. So yes, that is something that we are absolutely looking to do. Yep. Uh, I kind of feel like Firenze is going to be a group cruise with how many people for we know Firenze, that are going to be on there. It's but for it's sure going to be a group cruise. And we've got some folks that are joining us on uh, the Liberty. Um, so yes. it's kind of our trial run of, of what that looks like. And yes. so I'm super excited for that in September. Yeah. And then um, next year is going to be our, is going to be our big one. And we're going to put so. it out at least a year in advance. Yeah. So we're going to be working on that. So stay tuned to the channel. Great question, John. Thank yeah. you for asking. Blake asked when looking at Alaska cruises, what time of year do you feel is the best time to go? Definitely not January. Well, they don't sail in January. That's why I'm saying it's not a good time to go. 
Uh, I would say it depends on what your goal is. If you're wanting warm Alaska, and I use air quotes because there's really no such thing. Yeah, we wore shorts. We wore shorts when we were in, Jan in July. No, was it July? I mean, we yeah. were in No, not while you're sailing in no, the fjord. No, you no. are not going to be wearing shorts while you're sailing in the fjord. But if you're in July and you're in the yeah. sun, it is. I was shocked. Yeah. Like, I didn't want to do Alaska. Rocky was like, we've got to do Alaska. Okay, fine. I loved it. It yeah. was the best. Now we do an Alaska, at least one Alaska cruise every single it's year. We, I love it so much. And so um, it, to Rocky's point, it depends on what you're looking for. I would say, yeah, I would say late J June into July, you're going to have the best weather. Um, the you're warmest also gonna, weather. Yeah, you're going to have the warmest weather. You're also going to have more people. You're going to have more kids on board. If you're wanting the Northern Lights experience, not late. guaranteed, late. but definitely late in the season. So October would be the time frame for that. Um, fish spawning if you want to see the fish swimming upstream yeah. and you're a big fisherman um they say april may is a great time because uh -huh. that's really when all of the hatcheries and mm -hmm. fishes are swimming um and really anytime you're going to see whales it's amazing we've done and i've eagles. done september i've done july marked it october yep. and we've seen whales breaching on all three of our sets of cruises now we can't guarantee awesome. it no, we no, can't no, no. guarantee it but no i'm just uh, saying it's a it's a good possibility good possibility that yeah. you'll see whales yeah. yep um, I love Holly's uh, message. Your tips are <laughs> chef's kiss. I <laughs> love wonderful. it. I love it. Thank um, you. Avoid the buffet and atrium on embarkation day on any cruise. We totally agree, <laughs> Richard. Um, the Although I will tell you, we headed straight to the buffet on Celebrity Apex. And we remember I was just like, yeah, yeah. The video of him. He's like a kid in a candy store. I was shocked. The Celebrity Apex's buffet was. Yeah. Uh, uh, unbelievable it was and because it's so huge yeah there weren't like giant lines in, uh, to everything like i just anyway yeah. yes yeah. but normally we we do avoid the buffet on right parts. normally we avoid the buffet altogether yeah. holly said depends on where you live she lives in texas it's hot in the summer so she do alaska oh, in july uh, yeah that's actually same from arizona <laughs> yeah same from arizona holly your tips are Mwah. Very good. I love it. Um, Heat Craze said definitely June is more costly June, for Alaska because Alaska. it's more busy. Yep. They're more busy. So June and um, June and July. Yeah. Did I so, say June and Alaska? Yes. June and July are the most expensive times that you can yeah. go to. May is actually getting up there as well. May it didn't is. used to be as pricey, but that's getting up there as well. Right. Um, good. She I made Holly your, laugh. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I'm, you made Holly. I love it. Okay, so let's start wrapping this up. Yes. Our next cruise, as we mentioned, is on the MSC Maravalia. That is going to be on April 7th, and it is an 11-night cruise uh, setting sail from Brooklyn. So it's a similar um, start to itinerary. Um, we've got a couple days at sea heading down to Puerto Plata. Then we head over to San Juan, St. Thomas, St. Martin, Antigua. Then three days at sea going back up to Brooklyn. So, And I don't think it's going to snow this. Knock on wood. I yeah, right. Die, but... Last time it snowed on Maravilla as we were heading out, and that was the was that was cool. some of the roughest seas. It was, it was really cool. Yeah. It was like we loved it. Yeah. I mean, unfortunately, yeah. we literally saw a man dragging a woman back to her room because she was that so was sick. That was actually on Margaritaville at Sea Paradise, but yes. Oh, that was also no. That was <laughs> that the was bumpiest rough. actually. That no, was rough. now that it I was think a small about ship, it, and we could now see that I think about it, that or... probably is the new bumpiest yeah. ship oh, ever. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, was, yeah. Maravilla was nothing compared to Margaritaville. Like you were like doing this like yeah. i mean you were bobbing up and down on that ship it was cool yeah it was awesome uh let's see here we got some more comments that came through so yeah so 11 nights doing some cool stops on that itinerary yeah. maravilla so as you know we did yacht club or may as you may know we did yacht club earlier this year we booked a standard interior um cabin this time to be able to compare and contrast for you for the channel we want to be able to say is the yacht club really worth, worth it, it yeah. or is the standard experience pretty cool? Because we've seen a lot of negative comments about MSC out there and you know us, we look for the positive and we look for the light in everything. And so I am curious what we're going to think. Yeah. I mean, we kind of were spoiled in the yacht club. I'm not going to lie. It's true. We were very spoiled. Not kind of. I wonder <laughs> if we'll have a butler in our standard interior we cabin. No, we will not. What? But I, I'd be curious to see if we can like connect with the Nalesh if he's still on. That would, like, be, it would be cool to see him. That would again. be cool to awesome. see him again. Yeah. Uh, Richard said, whole lot of fun, guys. Sorry to bomb your comments. No, 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 no. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for sharing your experience. 
uh, obviously this is not just our own experience. It's everyone else that tunes in that kind of helps to feed into what yes. we can sp speak about. So thank you so much, yeah. Richard, for, for tuning in and helping us out. And he suggests getting a balcony in Alaska. I uh, totally agree. Um, we actually will not be in a balcony on the spirit. We're going to do an interior cabin. So um, we have friends that are setting sail. They, this is going to be their first time sailing with Carnival and they wanted to experience it. They've got a nice, beautiful balcony. Yeah. Um, and so we're, and we're, we're mooch close off to of that. them. We're so close to that. <laughs> so I, I, I went like this, uh, do I need a bell? I didn't, we didn't use our balcony at all. Uh, so we booked much, a balcony no. on the Splendor and yeah. we didn't use it at all because every single time Emily, the naturalist would come on, she would say, oh, oh there's whales, the other side. but it was always on the other side yeah. of the ship. So we just ended up going to the forward decks on board right. so that we could run back and forth and see whatever wildlife was, was going on on the it ship. It was fun though. It was no so much what. fun. It I'm was excited fun. for that. And it's cold. It is. I like, I like, yeah. a, I like, I can do a balcony in the Caribbean cause yeah. I can just let oh, one of those hammocks on Virgin voyages. Yeah, no, we can't do the balconies on, on Virgin anymore. Oh, that was a loud experience. Yeah. Y it was a loud experience yeah. this last sailing. Miss Aretha had a great question. Is it easier boarding in Brooklyn or Manhattan? So we've only, Mark has only disembarked the ship in Manhattan. He hasn't boarded a ship. But I'll tell there. you, I've talked, I have a lot of friends who have boarded in Manhattan and they hate it. They hate it because Sorry, it, Miss Aretha. it's so hard. Yeah. Um, and it, and it, and when I say they hate it, they hate how hard uh, think about getting around inside the, inside the city of New York yeah. and inside Manhattan. It just takes more time. Yeah. So as long as you plan for the time and as long as you plan for the cost, because I will say it is also yeah. costly to, to take a yellow cat. Oh, every time I do it's this, not, this is up. not a thumbs up. Um, every, <laughs> so, so, I have talked to a bunch of friends. They don't love it as much. Uh, the Brooklyn is a bit. It's a lot easier. I feel. It, yeah. It's easier because it's less uh, congested. Yeah. Yeah. Um, some other great questions that are coming in. Holly is apprehensive at the uh, MSC. We had a great experience on board. We had an amazing um, experience. I know that some of our other um, online vloggers out there have had some right challenges. Down here. Click, pull up Jojo's comment. Yep. Um, and so we're, we're very sensitive to that. Um, are we going to get in trouble for vlogging? So here's what I will say. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to comment extensively mm -hmm. on this, but here's what I will say. The Yacht Club, the experience um, in the Yacht Club, there are folks that are on board that have paid fourteen to $16,000 for a week-long sailing. Yeah. The Yacht Club has always been pretty locked down in terms of picture-taking and videos. The rest of the ship, the general rest of the ship, um, you will see a ton of vloggers out there and a ton of folks that are capturing the, the experience on board MSC. But the Yacht Club traditionally has been locked down because it is such an exclusive experience. And so uh, while we don't know the full story of what has happened uh, with certain vloggers, um, I will say we were very sensitive ourselves yes. when filming within the Yacht Club or taking pictures even within the Yacht Club uh, because there are butlers all over they are always watching yep. and those butlers will stop you that one we, we saw someone enter the yacht club because the door was open and within within probably 12 seconds 12 seconds there was a team of people around them and they escorted them yeah. right out because yeah. they they weren't supposed to be there and so there is definitely when you pay fourteen thousand dollars for a week sailing we didn't we yeah. upgraded yeah. We, we didn't upgrade um but, but we but, were still respectful of everyone but else for those there. folks that um are there there is a certain level of privacy yeah. um expected and so again we don't know the full story there but i i don't expect us to get in trouble knock no, on wood no. um i don't expect us to get in too much trouble and as <laughs> as we go around the ship and, and a lot of those those dining venues and that sort of thing we don't bring our gear with us it's just our our cell phone that we use to record our our footage yep. um and i think that that's a little bit less invasive people don't feel as as I don't know, like they're being put on on display when when you have just a regular cell phone. So now we know we're, we're still aware of our surroundings yep. and, and mindful of that. And and we know that other bloggers, um, because we've seen these videos as well. Uh, we know that they are respectful. They request a table away from other yeah. folks and make sure that there aren't people in their videos and stuff like that. And so so there likely is there absolutely are always two sides to every story. And so um, we want to, we just want to make sure that when we do these things that we are as, as respectful as we can, yeah. but, but also know that the yacht club is, is kind of sensitive. They yeah. are kind of sensitive. Yeah. No, I definitely. remember we, we met that lovely family and she was like, we paid $14,000 for the sailing and Rocky and I are like, 
$14,000. This is an icon of the you. seas. This is an icon of the seas. What are you paying that kind of rate for? <laughs> We did not say that. Hey, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, let's see here. Richard said for his next Alaska trip next year, they have wraparound. Bu- That's Richard. Take us with. Wow. Do you have extra? Wow. You have extra room for for two wow. people? We That's can fit amazing. into suitcases. Uh, let's oh. see here. And then Richard also said, "Hold up." Yeah. When you say the balconies on VV were loud, why? I'm gonna cliffhanger you. We've got a couple of videos that'll be coming to the channel soon about our experience in our Virgin Voyages um, balconies. So okay, that'll yes. kind of tell you a little bit more about what that experience was like. So if you haven't already, like and subscribe. Or I something think Richard like that. has, yeah. No, I know. Um, what I will say is the obstructed view, here's the little teaser, the obstructed yeah. view cabins, um, they have the doors that just open and close versus the sliders. Um, and when you have neighbors who keep their main stateroom door open and open and close that balcony door, we literally had a stick of deodorant fall off of the counter because the entire room shook. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, more to come. <laughs> Richard said he covers soaps for a living. He loves a good cliffhanger. <laughs> well, fair, fair. Rocky woke up with amnesia and was pregnant with, oh, no, I, uh, soap operas. Yeah, no, I know. I know. Right. Okay. No, I, I get it. Re, um, re, um, uh, Reva Shane, Reva Shane, she had amnesia. She was in Barbados with dolls. Josh Shane, like, oh sorry, my gosh. okay, sorry, you sorry, way more about this than I even sorry, know. Richard. And I could, I, I would love to chat more yeah. about it. anyway. Richard, okay. are you going on any cruises with us anytime soon? <laughs> um, have you signed up for our newsletter? Go the to our slug web- of Springfield. <laughs> I, I'm clueless. That's the two of you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, have you signed up for a newsletter? We are putting out a monthly newsletter, or at least that's the goal. Um, yep. So if you haven't signed up, go to our Good website, call. thiscruiselife.com slash newsletter. Uh, and you can sign up today for all of the new information that's coming out to our channel. I thought you were going to say you can sign up for free, which you is can, true. But it's, it's true. free. It doesn't it cost you anything. Right. Just like it doesn't cost anything for your cousin to subscribe to the channel. Right. Right. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. What else? Any other uh, news stories or anything else that we've missed before we wind this down? Because there is one more thing that I want to put up on the screen, okay. and that that takes us into what we're doing next. Totally forgot. Yep, there is a carnival made an announcement about Celebration Key yesterday, March twenty second, twenty twenty three, and we actually have a video that's going to premiere right after this live event ends. Yes. Um. So don't go anywhere. I know we've already been talking to you, your ear off for the past hour plus. Can I make it live right now? Um. I was thinking we could premiere it so that okay. this way we can chat. So, okay. Um, Perfect. Perfect. But I promise you, it's under eight minutes, so it's not going to be a, a much more. Uh, taking much more of your time from the day. It's it's funny because we've been really stressed of late, just sharing a little bit of insight of Mark yeah. and Rocky. No, you're good. We have been stressed of late because we've had so many full reviews to put out. And as you know, oh, we put yes. a lot into our full reviews. When we do a full review, we talk about the food, the drinks, the entertainment, the ship, and I get it. It's hard to watch. In fact, a lot of people don't want to watch a full review where we spend you know 30 minutes dissecting everything on the ship yeah. and the deck plans and stuff like that. There are folks that do and comment and thank us. Uh, the Virgin Voyages ones, the number of people that said, we watched the full review, thank you for the tips and tricks, or thank you for this t- specific tip that was buried within the video. Like, So we know that uh, folks do the, we do, we know folks enjoy those. So we love them, but it we need to do some shorter videos. We, yeah. we know that as well. And so I'm excited for this video. It's less than eight minutes. Yeah, yeah, it'll be nice. And then uh, we got a couple more videos that are gonna be coming out in the coming week. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Coming weeks. Yep. Faster to the fun. That one is Ooh. just about done. We're, we get we're a question that about faster to the fun all the time and whether it's worth it. And so we, we do a whole breakdown on that. Yep. We've got our first three meals, first three dinners from MSC Yacht Club. Yep. Um, that experience, that video is just about done and ready to go. Yep. Um, and then, like I had mentioned for Richard, we've got our room tour, room reviews of Virgin Voyages, Valiant we've got, Lady. We've got room tours. Yes, we have room because tours. Because we switched rooms, Richard. Correct. We had to switch rooms. So we've got multiple tours coming from Virgin Voyages, yeah. Valiant Lady. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. That's, yeah, we could have switched a third time, too. We could have. It was, it was rough. <laughs> Um, Holly said that they she watches the full reviews on every ship that she goes on. That's awesome. That's awesome. We appreciate that for those that of our ships that we've been on. Yep. Uh, Miss Aretha said that she absolutely loves your energy um, and just a nod and go with the flow <laughs> is me. That's me. That's you. You got it. 
Um, I can't keep up with them, although with this dirty uh, chai tea, this was... I, I am feeling it because I had a coffee as we left home this morning. Oh, so I am like that was delicious. It so was. Uh, Jared, uh, if you're watching, yes. thank you. Um, if you can hear us I through, see. if you can hear us through the doorway, thank you. This doesn't mean we want another one. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then Richard said, Escandala. Yes, I yes. love it. Oh yes. my gosh, I love it. I yes. love it. I'm going to have to message him on Twitter and be like, oh yeah. my gosh. So when we, when Paul and I went to Barbados, yes. Um, give me the buzz, give me the buzz, give me, give me, give me the buzz. It was a whole thing. Riva, Shane had dolls in Barbados and oh. Paul was looking for dolls to collect so that Anyway, okay. okay. Okay, if you say. I know that have Paul you, does love his dolls. Have you been to Barbados? Because if not, I recommend it. But do you know what I recommend even more than Barbados is a new port? Oh, Martinique. Martinique. That was cool. Martinique was absolutely fantastic. Um, we got to walk around and explore Martinique with two idiots, one ship. Yep. Uh, Brian and Christopher, our friends, Brian and Christopher. And it was, we hiked up a mountainside to this beautiful cool. church yeah. uh, that overlooked the entire city and the entire oh, town. Wow. We uh, stopped at a French patisserie. Yeah. It was just it amazing. Was, it was awesome. It was so much fun. Uh, let's see. We got another couple of comments here. Brandon said there is a cows in GTA 5. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure what a cows is. Maybe one of those cruise ships. Maybe, maybe. Um, and it's only four, but still, hey, we'll take it. We'll take it, Holly. If it's only four ships, that is not something to be sad or upset about. We love it. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to put that up on the screen. Thank you so much for joining everyone. Yeah. This last hour and 15 minutes has been fantastic. It flew by. It really I, it, has. Maybe it's because we're outside. And now it is getting warm. Now that the sun I'm is coming out. you're I'm, still wearing your jacket. I am getting warm out here. It is Aww, flown by. Oh, Richard. Thank you so much. He's excited for us to bring on Celebration Cave. He's like, okay, this has been a long enough. <laughs> what? Richard, he's like, bring on Celebration Key. He's wanting us to stop our live event. Oh, bring no, on. Just I, I think he was bringing on the booking. Yes, I agree. Oh, no, put the we're video excited. Too. Put the video yes, too. Yes, we'll bring the video up soon. Uh, no, we are super excited about Celebration Key. And like I said, we are working on that group cruise. So stay tuned to the channel. Stay tuned to all of our social channels. Um, we'll be bringing all of those details out here momentarily, um, probably within the month, next month or so, I would think. Um, and like Mark said at the start of today's live session or throughout the live session, tell your friends and family about us. We are so close to our 2025 goal. We are, we are 2025. Yeah. Or 2024 20 goal. I'm sorry. What year is it? We are literally 32 subscribers away from 5,000. You That's all, wild. Uh, when we started this, we set out a goal to hit a thousand. We're like, okay, if a thousand people will add, just tune in to hear our chaotic lives, that would be amazing. We are 32 subscribers away from 5,000, which just blows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I it's, just, it's, it's humbling. Wild. It's super humbling, it and it is wild. And yep. we hope to do this for a long time to come. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, I think we already have a sale talk Saturday next Saturday scheduled. Not yet. Oh. One thing at a time. Okay. I, cool. I, one thing at a time. Join us next Saturday for <laughs> yes. sale talk Saturday. We'll be back for same sure. Same time. Same time. Probably not the same place, I unfortunately. Don't I don't think so. I love this place. I know. It's okay. great. Jojo, thank you for tuning in. It's been thank a pleasure you. sharing our Saturday morning with you. Yes, absolutely. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend, everyone. Um, Tom said that he'll be at Barbados and Martinique next year. So excited. We are looking Aww. forward to getting to meet you, Tom, very sh soon. That's very sweet. Yes. Um, very so sweet. So really excited for that. If you need and... any tips or tricks, let us know. Yeah. And Waypoint, thank you so much. Have a wonderful Saturday. Yes. Enjoy this beautiful weather. Um, I think tomorrow is going to be in the low 60s, which is weird. This weather keeps sure. changing. This is this is springtime in Arizona. That's how it goes. You never yes. know what it's going to be. Absolutely. Um, no worries at all, Marcy. It's it's all good. We are yeah. so excited to get to meet you on the Fira and say that is so soon. Um, so we are going to have a great time. Yes. You and your husband, we're going to have a great time. It's going to be amazing. It is. Okay, let's premiere a video. Let's do it. I mean, so, it's going to give us uh, give us two minutes because we're going to have to hit the go live or yep, premiere yeah. and Just, stuff like that. You'll get notified as long as you turn on those notifications. Well, no, because we've heard from several folks that notifications haven't been working. Yeah, In fact, I, I think it was Blake that even messaged that said, oh. I didn't get a notification for this. And well, I've got notifications turned on. We need a sale with Blake again so we can help him figure it out. That's what it comes down to. I guess so. We need to sail with all of you. Yep. We need to sail with all of you. 
Uh, this goes against my goal of maybe a few less cruises in 2025. We're just going to keep looking. We just need to make everyone go on the same one with us. That's what it comes down to. Fantastic. All right, guys. We're signing out. I think Hero is literally asleep on Rocky's He's arm. On my arm. I wish you could see this. Um, they can. Oh gosh. Oh, he just opened oh, his he eyes. Just woke up. Okay. There we go. I'm glad. Okay. We will see you on the celebration key announcement video. See Take care. Have Thanks, a great everyone. time. Bye. Bye.